All right, Pokemon players, we have a spread energy day. Energy, I always say energy, spread damage deck. I cannot do a spread damage deck without a haunch grow. I don't know how people do it. It is insane. This guy does a lot of damage when you spread the damage throughout with the other Pokemon. Weevil is a great deck against your Dawn main Necrozma deck or any deck that has a lot of abilities. This guy can spread damage fast. And of course, we always got to have every spread damage deck I've ever seen has Tapu Koko in it. And now with the new Shrine of Punishment, it just helps out just a little bit more knocking those GXs out that are sitting on the bench hiding after you've done a lot of damage to them. You got Cynthia for a little bit of draw support and Professor Kikui just for a little bit more damage. Double colorless, dark energy. This deck can actually go without any dark energy. It's just kind of a little bit of support with these other ones just in case you need to do like 70 damage or something and you're not getting the pulls you want. This is live, so anything can happen. I could get smashed or I could smash. Let's do the best two out of three. Let's get started. Please like and subscribe. Help me with these videos. Help me be a better Pokemon player, better YouTuber, whatever it is. Maybe you're just a better person. Hope you all are doing good on this Saturday here in the West Coast. And if you're in the East Coast, East Coast or in another country, thanks for watching. We appreciate your time. I cannot see the comments as I'm playing. I'm on YouTube Live, as you probably already know. Let's just see how this deck goes. We're going to do Hodgeco first. I don't really like to have him first because he's kind of like my backup. I like to have Coco or Weevil or one of those up front. The good thing about Weevil and Coco is they are free retreat. So that's super helpful. We use the, can we just see? So we're just going to get some energy, which wasn't very helpful. Let's put the energy on him. I do use skateboard, so all my Pokemon will be able to have free retreat. That's a big deal in this deck to have that free retreat, to use whichever Pokemon I need at that time. It appears that he's got a deck that's not going to have a lot of abilities, so I just may have to use Weevil's regular 70 attack. Let's see if that Cynthia gives me next turn. I'll use Timer Ball to get a Smart Grow Evolved in Hodge Grow. And he's got the Nine Tails, which is, again, no ability. So it's a little harder to knock out. Plus, it has the GX to move all the damage counters to all my Pokemon. So after all the damage I do to him, I can just put it right back on my Pokemon. So it looks like he's going to. Evolve that one next turn. That would be nice to knock this Vulpix out. Oh, heard one. So I'm going to save my uh, timer ball and just put it back in for later. Getting some really tough pulls. So just do a little spread damage. Um, I'm actually not going to put it on this because I know he's going to evolve. I'm going to put the damage over here. I'm going to try to avoid putting damage on this one just because of the GX. I know after three energies, he's going to be able to knock pretty much anything I have out. It'll be evolving into that nine tails. GX. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you're watching this video after it's live, 
thanks for watching and hopefully this is helpful maybe whatever the other players doing is helpful to watch or maybe something i'm doing right so we are going to just start building this one up this one's kind of a a lost hope let's do start spreading this damage out This one's looking really grim. You know, it's just all on the pools and all on who you're playing. It's Pokemon. You got some great pools and the other player's not playing the deck that you would like to play, especially if that deck has a lot of your weaknesses. A rock deck kind of crushes this deck because two of my Pokemon are weak to rock. A uh, lightning deck would knock our crew out pretty easy, so... Every tournament's going to be different. Well, let's just try to uh, save some Pokemon here. Let's just throw him up there. There's the Coco for more spread damage, but probably too late on this deck. Just got out faster, he got the better Pokemon, and worked out better for him. Oh, now he's... He's going to burn him, so the next time he can knock him out. That's 60 more damage for every... Every condition, or no, just one special condition. No luck there, so we'll just let him knock him out. We'll just get that type of cocoa going. Start doing some damage so that Hawk Crow could do his job. Just gives you a little bit of an idea of what this deck does. It's not doing very well right now. See if I had a Weevil, it would have just done 60 damage to him. All right. The other good thing about my deck is it doesn't have GXs, so he's not taking, you know, two prize cards every time. I just not give him the pulls that I want. But that's the way it goes. So right now I can already do, you know, 180 damage, which, you know, would almost knock out 10 more damage would knock it out. Actually, no, that would knock it out because this does plus 10. So I could already knock out the nine tails, which now I have to retreat because of that damage, but let's see what Kukui gives us. Still no Weevil. That's painful. We're just going to save the energy, save the time, do a knockout. Two hundred and forty damage on that Pokemon. Like you say, this can do a lot of damage if it works out. I got a skateboard so I can save my energy on him. Maybe sacrifice my Coco just for more damage and start handing it to him. I came out a little late on this one, so we'll see what happens. I can already knock out this frog here. But so the double color this. I'm just gonna knock out the frog deer. I'm not gonna waste any time on that. If I can get a knockout, I can just I'll just take the knockout. There's my weevil showing up a little late. 
now that his frog and deer is gone, I can't uh, put any damage on any of his Pokemon because they don't have any abilities. Thanks for your time again. Please like and subscribe. Help me better be a YouTuber, better be a Pokemon player, and just be a better person. Thank you for everything you guys do out there. All right, so since he's doing that, I need to get more damage on his Pokemon. So I'm going to have to do the Tapu Koko. And plus, he's going to start getting that Ninetales going. And I don't want to get rid of this Hawkrow because he's going to be the one that does all the damage. Oh, there he goes. So he didn't get the, the Ninetales going. I have a ton of energy. I'm not concerned about that. The great thing about Weevil is one energy for the abilities. So you can do a lot of damage for one energy if they have a lot of abilities. It's a little weakness in there. That helped me out 20 more damage. Looks like if he puts another energy on, he's just going to knock him out. Let's see what he's going to decide to do. Smart thing to do, just knock my Coco out, bring him up, and then knock him out. But it's not what he's going to do. Or at least paralyze him. <laughs> hey, gave me another round of spread damage, but still no basic Pokemon. That is painful, painful. All right. Yeah, I just didn't get... The cards I needed. I mean, if I get another Coco, I do have another double color list. I do still have options. But if I don't get a Pokemon in this next turn, this game is over. Yeah. This is this is just one of the worst draws ever. See how much damage I can do, but he just hands me. If he had a double colorless, he would be able to knock me out with a Rayquaza. But maybe he's not pulling maybe he's not playing double colorless in that deck. Yeah, next turn if I don't get something, he's he's definitely got the knockout. I do got a Cynthia. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use it. If I don't get, maybe I get a Pokemon, I can use that double colorless. But I need Pokemon. Uh, he's going to get a Frog of Deer out, which is helpful for my Weevil. So I got nothing. I have to use Cynthia. That's a lot of energy that I can. Uh, Man. Well, we will just get. Probably gonna knock it out. Now. There we go, a little something. So more than likely he's gonna knock out this sneasel. I'll knock out his requisa. Maybe he's just gonna add more energy. We'll see what happens. Actually, it looked like he didn't get very good great pulls either, so 
it did end up being somewhat of a good competition, but ultimately he's had the better pools. Not getting any basics been paid for. See which one he's going to load up. Yeah, there he goes. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to knock out this Equaza. Appreciate it all the time. Thank you for uh, watching. Like and subscribe if you're watching us later on. Please uh, help me grow and be a better Pokemon player, a better person, a better viewer, better at whatever I need to be better at. Let's see what he just decides to do. I might just do 50 damage to my hawk row. Like I said, the great thing is, is the retreats on this one are nice. Yeah, there he goes. That was smart. Got rid of all of my damage I was delivering. So next turn, he'll just pretty much hand it to me. Well, not, not too bad for the way the draws came out. I'm going to lose this game, but it wasn't too bad of a match comparably to the way it could have been. Like I said, I like this deck because all my Pokemon, well, when he's evolved, have free retreat. Or I even if I skateboard on any of my basics, they all have free retreats. That's big in this deck when you're switching all these Pokemon around. This guy's got me pretty good. Just not getting those basics out hurt really bad, especially when I had all that energy sitting in my hand. I could have pumped all my Pokemon up with a bunch of energy and had this game locked. It was a close game. Not disappointed for the way it turned out, especially the way that I started. I thought I was gonna have all my prize cards at the end of this game. And I just let him knock me out. I ain't. Either way, you knocked my Pokemon out. Didn't even get my Shrine of Punishment out to be given. I think there's a little bit of headache over there. I don't know what it takes these guys so long. They got the knockout. They take just too much time. Knock the Pokemon out, guys. You know, we can move on to the next game or whatever. Life's too short to be sitting there playing your hand when you know you can knock the Pokemon out and win the match. That's just one of the most annoying things I've ever seen. Let's go on to game two. Let's see. Best out of three. If I lose this game, that's it. Looks like she's running the Rayquaza. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory looking at her deck, looking at the icons. I'm 
All right. Looks like I'm going first. Got a Coco, so it's good to have the free retreat, free option, just in case I need a switch, just in case I could get Weevil and, and she starts throwing those Rayquazas out because those Rayquazas have abilities. So we can start spreading the damage on all those abilities, see what we can do. Hopefully start getting knockouts before she starts getting all that energy on those Rayquazas. I do have some draw options. So let's get that little sneasel out there. Oh my goodness. This deck is not pulling the basics. I have four of every one in this deck. So let's do that. And we'll go from there. I cannot let her get this evolved. She gets that evolved. And she has a limited energy. That's when you want to be playing a Gardevoir deck or something against this one. And all that energy goes against them or tap it, Lele. Frustrating, I get all these good cards in my hand, and I got to shuffle them all back in. I have Nest Ball in here. I have Draw Support, everything to get those basic Pokemons. So I just don't know. Really, I don't want to change a whole lot because I like the item cards, the timer balls and all that. Um, I like Ultra Ball. The problem with Ultra Ball is, is sometimes you have good cards in your hand, and then you have to decide to get rid of cards. And anytime you discard cards, it's not always a good option because then you might need it later in the game, and then it's gone. And another Coco. See if Cynthia gets us. I need some basics. I need some basics bad. And obviously, I didn't get those basics, so let's just start doing some damage. Spread it out. There you go. I was trying to punishment. That was 30 damage done in that one turn to each one of those requazes. She keeps trying to put energy out and trying to get these going. It could be bad for her if these do not get evolved within three more turns. And I also have another Tapu Coco sitting on a bench with another double colorless. Hopefully, I can start getting some Honkros out. And also Weevil. Weevil is going to be huge because now there's another ability sitting here on the bench. Weevil is going to do 60 damage to each one of these Pokemon if I could get it out. That's been the issue with this deck these, these past two games. Getting those basic Pokemon out and getting them evolved. So Coco's gone. That's going to be a lot of damage there. So... I'd actually like to start building up a Weevil if I could. A lot of these Rayquaza decks, they put the uh, Wishful Baton on, so when they get knocked out, all their energy is still around. It's pretty cool if you're playing a Rayquaza deck. Um, I need basics or I'm done. Well, I got some basics. Let's try for that. Uh, try for that Weevil, man. Let's shoot that Weevil or Sneasel. And I got that one energy. All I do is need that one energy for Sneasel. That's it. A lot of damage. Hawkro can do some serious damage right now. But like I say, I want to get this Weevil. And Honkro will knock out 
any one of their Pokemon when he comes out and he's ready to go. She'll more likely win, but I just I like what the damage is doing. My just my two power hitters in the backup are not coming out. I had to shuffle that one honk row in and who knows when I'll get it or if I'll get it back. I always like to put the Coco up or any Pokemon to free retreat. Because then I can have options on the bench of whatever I need to do next. You put any of these other up, you may have to lose an energy just to get that Pokemon. Come on, Weevil. Well, we got Honkro and we got Double Colorless. Um, let's see. Still going to be able to knock out my Honkro. Looks like we're just going to have to spread that damage. I'm doing more damage with this Coco right now than I am just going to be to knock out one of his Pokemon. I'm trying to knock out all of her Pokemon. Sorry, her Pokemon. If I get a Weevil this turn, she is in some serious trouble. So that is going to be my hope. I need a Weevil. I need a Weevil. Weevil, Weevil did not come. Did not come. That was painful. So, let's go for the knockout. Well, both the requires is going to be knocked out, and then she'll probably just finish me off with the Vicar Bolt. Not a bad second match, a little bit better. Um, just really wish I could get more basic Pokemon out. I know there's supporters and stuff that give me basic Pokemon, Ultra Ball, stuff like that. Um, I just don't want to load this deck up with a bunch of supporters. I do like the item cards. This trying to punch me, as you can tell, you know, did a lot of damage to those Quasas. So she's going to finish me off with, with these two. I just, I have three of these Weevils in my deck. One's probably my prize. And still didn't get one when I needed it. Yeah. I'd have to get really lucky on the next turn to get a Cynthia or a Professor Kukui to pull my one energy with my Weevil or my Hawkrow. There's the Weevil. There's my one energy. And that should do it. I should be able to win this game. Oh, let's see. That's only do 120 to that one. Uh, it's going to do... Or two and two, she's gonna knock me out with this one next turn. But I think I did a uh, good fight in this one. Just for fun, I'm gonna show you what. Weevil can do what Weevil would have done earlier would have been way better if I had it more in advance than having it this late in the game. Mm -hmm. 
be nice if she was out of energy. <laughs> All right. So you will weave. We can do a little bit. It's gonna hit that ring root and these two big bolts. Next turn, I would have been able to knock out all three of these Pokemon. If she can't retreat, it's game over. If she can retreat, it's game over for me. Or if she has the energy, which more than likely she has the energy. There she goes. Well played. Still a fun deck. I still enjoy it, even though... Um, these last two matches haven't really shown a lot. But it's always that one turn out. One turn could determine the entire game. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help me grow and be a better YouTuber. Thanks for your time. I said, she's just taking too long. These people just take too long to make one decision. Knock the Pokemon out. You have one prize card. Not too difficult. One prize card. You just put a bunch of energy in your deck. Knock my Pokemon out. Simple decisions, people. Your mad face. Like, really? Come on. What? See? Simple as this. I knock your Pokemon out. One turn. Game over. It was that fast of a decision. I don't know why she didn't knock me out. But I pulled the victory, so... That's one and one. Let's go for game three. I got lucky on that one. Game three. Now, I had a bunch of Weevils on my deck, and that deck would have been toast a long time ago, but can't pull off these basic Pokemon for some reason. There's Snuggle Snakes. He's mad at me for some reason. Give him a little heart. Give him a little love. Be nice, man. Why are you being so negative? It's not really negative. Break my heart, man. Break my heart. All right, all right. There's a Rangaroo. Let's Cynthia, let's get some basic Pokemon. Some basics. There's my Weevil. Let's get a Honkrow one. There you go. All right, at least now I'm starting out with one Evolve and one Pokemon. So now I can quit my complaining. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's see what we got. So he's going to try to go for the knockout next turn, which would be 80 damage because he only takes one energy. So he'll, he'll give me two turns. If he keeps that orangaroo up there. And then even if he knocked him out, Hulk Row would knock him out. He would back up. And I skin another one of those Cynthia's, you know, whole nine tails. 
Save him for later. There we go, nest ball. All right. Here we go. Let's see, double colorless. That's not helpful. I'm gonna knock out my weevil. If I get double colors next turn, I can get Coco out. I see night coming. Oh. There we go. So I got a couple of turns. He needs two blue energy to make something out of this. Well, not true. This does GX, which I'm just going to see her do a bunch of damage. She's going to do it right back to me. So, he only uses GX this turn. I'm going to retreat. Use my Coco. Save a little bit of time. Save this honkro. Try to get enough damage just for a straight knockout, so we can't use that GX. We'll see. There's the both of these have abilities. So that's why he really wanted to get rid of that weevil. Retreat. Started doing some damage. 110. Still not enough. It's like I have no choice. Oh, there we go. This should do it. 120 plus that. I should be able to knock it out. Got a micro. Got some pull, evolve, retreats. So, have some options. I'm one prize card ahead of them right now. Hopefully, you can't pull no more energy. That'd be nice. Uh, that was helpful. Skateboard. Get a cocoa with some double color. This would be nice. <laughs> We will timer ball. We will a little more damage. 
to make sure and with Weevil I can knock out this Orangaroo. Get some damage on that Orangaroo and that Tapu Coco. This is going to cost me one more. I'm going to lose an energy. I need to get that Shrine of Punishment back out. And now we're even on some prize cards. I don't want to use my I'm already going to knock him out I want to use the extra 20 damage for that That'd be a waste There's the Coco For more damage Can I knock out the Lele with Honkro? One of the nine tails out. There it is. Two out of three. Not bad. I really appreciate you guys' this time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I know I'm not the greatest speaker on these videos. Got people that are way better that have been doing this for a long time or just better at communicating. That is the Weevil Storm. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. Please like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.